Hey, it's Random Code here, and let's showcase how we can create a new project in Kotlin. And this first project is, as always, going to be Hello World. So, inside from IntelliJ, we click on File, New Project. We then have this new project pop up. To then just create a very, very basic project, I would create a new project. I would give it some kind of name, so let's call it First Kotlin. And the main difference from usual if working with Java is that we would change the language from Java to Kotlin. I prefer using Maven as my base build system for all my projects at this point, but you can also go with IntelliJ or Gradle. And we then just need to pick a Java version. Kotlin is basically running on Java. And I think just to showcase this basic project, let's add some sample code. When we then create this project, we can choose it for this window. We can see we then have a very basic new project. We have a first Kotlin area containing a source folder with a main folder, the Kotlin folder, and then our main.kt file where all our Kotlin files are going to be .kt. And if you are familiar with Java, this might look kind of familiar. So for this basic setup, we don't have a class, but we have again a main function similar to Java. We then have a function main. We do not have a return type, but a function main. We have some kind of argument passed into a function. This is kind of similar to a public void static main function in Java, which is like a run function. And note we already here have a println. So it's a bit more simple compared to Java. We don't need to do like system.out.print. We just do println directly. And we actually have a built in hello world and just shows it works. We can then run this program using the screen arrow. And if we then give it a few seconds, we see we get hello world. And what's also found kind of interesting is actually that IntelliJ built this extra print line showcasing the amount of program arguments to kind of showcase a feature of. I think both Java and Kotlin is that if we look at this public just function main in this case, it is always passed a list of strings called arguments. And through IntelliJ, if we go into this area where we run our program and then edit configuration, we can then see all the setup for the specific cycle of our program. And in here, there's also the program arguments. And normally, this would be some kind of argument we would add to tell something behind the scenes to do something specific. But now, just to show you it works, if I add test here, click OK, I will now actually pass the string test as part of our array list into this main function. And because we're using println, and then we're passing in here, like printing some kind of argument, or anything into our string, we should be able to see now when we run it, we still get just hello world. But our program argument is also going to be running with our test argument passed to our main function. But this was very much just what I wanted to showcase in this first basic showcase of how we can create a Kotlin project using IntelliJ and then have our very first run project, a basic hello world setup. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.